There is no situation too complex that he can't unravel, no pain too deep that he cannot heal. There are no scars he cannot remove. He's the one who gives beauty for the ashes we've created for ourselves. He's the one who turns our mourning into dancing. Job suffered huge losses. But he didn't know at the end of it. The Bible says, God turned all of his losses. He restored to him twice as much as he had. So the Bible says, the latter end of Job was greater than his beginning. He will make impossibilities happen and make a highway in the wilderness and reverse in the desert. God is greater than the dreams that seem to elude us. You know, for some of us, we have been pursuing dreams and it's like a butterfly. You try to catch it, here it goes there. You try to catch it, there it goes there. It's like, God, when is this dream ever going to be fulfilled? But I want to say this morning, don't give up on that dream. Don't give up because God is greater. That even that which seems to elude you, God can bring it to you. It doesn't mean you get more of your own strength. It means you've been now intertwined with Him. So in the renewal of your strength, it's not God gives more of your, yourself. He gives more of Himself into you. So when you walk now, you're not walking with your strength. You're walking your strength totally intertwined with His strength. That's why the Bible says you're going to mount up with wings like eagles. And you will run and not be. Your battery is not going to go out of charge now. Because it's been intertwined with an unlimited power source. So you're going to run and not be weary. You will walk and you will not. Why? Because you are intertwined with God. This everlasting God. This creator of the ends of the earth. Who never faints, whose power never runs dry, who's unsearchable in his greatness. And all you and I have done is we waited upon, we intertwined ourselves with him saying, God, I'm dependent on you. I'm waiting on you. I'm, my weakness is lost in your strength. My limitations are overcome by your, uh, my insufficiencies are overcome by your completeness, your greatness. I am lost in you. There is no problem that is so complex that God can't unravel. Now you and I may not figure out the way. You and I may not be able to, you know, comprehend a solution to the problem that we find ourselves in. But it is not too big for God. God is greater. Amen. So let's say that together. God is greater than my mistakes or my mess. Now, this is not a reason to go and make mistakes or create a mess. But look, if you have made mistakes, if you're in a, a mess that you've created for yourself, don't get discouraged. God is bigger. God is greater than that. If you delight yourself in the Lord, He will give you the desires of your heart. He will do it. So you delight yourself in God. He's greater than all the impossibilities that, that seem to keep your dream away. And, 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 you know, the doors that seem to be closed, He can open up. He can take care of the lack, the insufficiency, uh, the, the shortcomings you see. When He opens a door, no man can shut it, the Bible says. What He brings into your life, no man can take away. When He lifts you up, no man can put you down. When God blesses you, no man can reverse it. So in, in, in calamities that strike our lives, we must affirm God is greater. God is the one who, like Joseph, he gave him his Manessa. He can give you your Manessa, causing you to forget the pain. Just as God gave him his Ephraim, he can give you your Ephraim, causing you to be fruitful in the very place where you were afflicted. Our God is greater. What the devil or what people meant for evil, God can turn it around for good. God is greater. 